it's time to make a switch. In this video, I'm going to tell you about my personal experience of moving from the world of traditional blogging and SEO to the world of YouTube and video content creation. I think you are going to find it extremely useful and we are going to be talking very quickly about 15 different areas that I have explored and hopefully I'm going to provide a lot of value to you if you are thinking about making the switch yourself. So why am I making this move? What happened? I've been a blogger since 2016 and I still have my blog, but my website has been completely obliterated by the latest Google algorithm update, the helpful content update. I loved writing and I still love writing, but unfortunately it's not fair anymore and you don't even know what you have to do to achieve any sort of success. You can just get hammered down by the algorithm within a couple of days and a thing that you've been working on for years gets completely destroyed. But I always love a good side hustle and doing something really creative. So that's why YouTube sounded like a really great idea. Niche blogging is basically dead and SEO is so unpredictable that you cannot really rely on it to uh, make a living anymore. Right now we are in the world of just multi-channel marketing. You cannot just rely on a single source of income or traffic. Basically, if you still want to just make money through writing, I think right now the only viable option is to become a freelance writer for some big companies. But uh, otherwise, if you just want to go on your own and create your little niche blog and earn from display advertising and affiliate marketing, I would strongly advise against that. Traditional blogging is boring. At some point, it becomes really tedious. So I think that in 2024, we really deserve to do something more creative with our time. Writing is still great, but now it's possible to translate all of these great writing skills that we have towards uh, other areas like writing scripts uh, for videos. The fourth thing is that it's really great to explore new content formats. And right now, YouTube and social media channels offer this great opportunity where you can just go in and if you can capture the attention of the viewers, not even with your face or with your expression and personality, but just with your words and graphics, you don't even have to show your face. Why just limit yourself to uh, just your little blog and hoping that you're going to earn a couple of dollars when there is a whole world of opportunities available for your taking? Number five. I think writing is more relevant than ever. Artificial intelligence is great at helping you to maybe polish up your content, but it's still you who uh, must really come up with the ideas that are going to move people. So it's not just about uh, copy itself. It's about blending different concepts using context, using art, uh, using inspiration and trends that are shaping our society. Number six, you don't really have to give up on your website or your blog completely. Perhaps it's time to just develop some new channels, like I'm creating my YouTube channel right now and I'm also working on my social media uh, channels, but I still publish something on my blog from time to time and basically create this more advanced ecosystem uh, of content that is going to serve my target audience. You know, I always loved to take pictures and maybe create some small videos. And of course, I'm a complete movie fanatic. But when I first picked up my camera, it was a complete disaster because you feel like, oh my God, I don't know anything about this. But fortunately, there is just a ton of information about video creation. And it's basically easier than ever. Just hit the record button, you know, look straight into that camera and basically say that I'm I'm going to do it. Okay, so thing number eight is that it's really crucial to choose your niche when starting and transitioning to YouTube. You really need to focus on a singular area and on a singular target audience. Instead of just going broad, I think it's really important to go really specific. So you choose the thing that you are most interested in, but also make sure that on the other side of it, uh, there is a possibility to make some money because some uh, online YouTube niches are uh, making way more money than uh, the others. Also look for possible opportunities for sponsorships 
and affiliate marketing deals in the future so that you have this long-term vision that once you put out lots of content and it all gathers a lot of views, you can earn more money than just from the views from uh, your videos. Number nine, it's really important to focus on the first five seconds of the video and the first 30 seconds of the video. It needs to be really as engaging as possible, but you don't really need to overwhelm the viewer with all sorts of crazy graphic elements that will be flowing into their consciousness, but rather focus on a story, focus on a kind of cinematic experience. It all depends on the style that you want to use, but I think it's really important to uh, convince somebody to check your video even uh, before they click on it, even if it's running on mute, uh, you can still basically see that it's a video that you would like to watch. Okay, number 10. The basic equipment that you need to get started is a camera from your phone and a really nice uh, lapel microphone, uh, just like this one. Most really good uh, phones like Google Pixel, especially Google Pixel 8 or iPhone 15 have tremendous capabilities in terms of video creation. So you don't really need anything fancy. And for example, this microphone uh, is just using the USB-C port. So it's also really easy to just plug it into your phone and start rolling uh, but I think it's uh, at some point important to actually invest a little bit in your equipment so for example right now I'm using a very inexpensive but actually really great camera Canon M50 uh, with a Sigma 16 millimeter lens and I have found that this is already quite enough for my needs okay number 11 is for you to start exploring video editing software as soon as possible. I think the best editing software available is probably Final Cut Pro, especially if you are rolling on Mac. Basically transitioning to a Mac was a complete game changer for me and I still don't believe how I spent so many years using Windows. Oh my God, Final Cut Pro, Mac for sure. But now you also have CapCut, then you also have Canva, then you can potentially create really killer videos but it's important to start experimenting with these tools as soon as possible so you just create the most basic footage download it onto your computer throw it into that uh, software and then you are ready to go and that's already how you start becoming more comfortable with this kind of video content creation okay number 12 on my transition from blogging and SEO to video creation is the whole scripting thing. At the beginning, I was creating my videos just randomly. I would just go to the camera and start uh, rambling about some idea. But uh, to be perfectly honest, this is not the best uh, way to go around uh, about it. It's way better to just at least have bullet points, you know, start with a thumbnail, start with the title, then come up with a few bullet points and things that you want to be uh, talking about. And then use just continuous recording keep this camera rolling and just give it as many takes as it needs so then basically you just keep hammering it but it's going to be enough and then you will learn how to speak to the camera in an engaging way but it's important it's really important to first plan it out script it out uh, maybe at the beginning you can even script it out word for word uh, but then uh, you will start becoming more comfortable Okay, number 13. It's really way, way easier to work on your YouTube career and basically creating social media videos if you have some checklists that you can follow. So I have created a lot of checklists, one for ideation, uh, one for uh, video recording, then for editing, then for uploading. And each of these checklists has a few elements that I'm just basically going through when creating my videos. And this ensures that when I'm creating a video, uh, it will have a higher quality and that I will hit all of the things that I want to hit. Okay, so number 14. And it's that YouTube is actually taking a lot of time. Creating one video often takes a couple of hours. So it's really important to create these time blocks in your calendar. So you have this appointment with yourself and you show up to basically go through all of these different elements of the process, like ideation, scripting, uh, planning the video, then shooting the video, editing, and finally uploading. You just need to get quite organized. It's sometimes difficult to find the time, but if you just commit to releasing like two videos per week. Uh, for starters, I think this is uh, a great place to start. 
Number 15. If you are still here and if you are still watching it, thank you very much. Uh, please like uh, this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to uh, get more videos like uh, this in the future. But number 15, I would say, is that it's really important for us to grow as creators. Right now, we have so many different great technologies at our disposal to basically start creating uh, that content right away. Uh, and if you want to grow even further, uh, you might want to uh, first get your focus on. Check out this video over here to get started with my favorite program that it will allow you to focus on your work. Okay, I will see you in the next one.